pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Oh and two here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Gosselin takes it in. Oh in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Not striding into the box. James McCann Leading up 0 for two on his line thus far. Here's the first pitch McCann. chopped foul right at home plate and that's the first strike. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Ready for another chance? Jacoby Jones. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. 4 1. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Ready with two balls and a strike. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. As we take a look at his numbers, now a batting. couple of things jump Center out at fielder. you. Yeah, and in today's Alberto game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Digging in once again, Alberto Guzman, two for three for him so Now the Kansas City manager will make the slow walk to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Your attention, please. So he was able to only get now that first Royals, out in the eighth, but nonetheless, he'll depart with Manny the lead. Francisco. Manny Francisco answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Here's a swing and a ground ball. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball's put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Here's another 0-2. Boy, good fight on the slider, and it just missed inside. One and two, here it comes. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And Castro will put this one away for route number two. Here's the shortstop now the Jose shortstop, Iglesias. And Dan okay. this could be a real Eddie make or Iglesias. break situation at this point in the game. Yeah Matt at least scoring one run in this hey. inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Tigers leave one. They're down five to one. A fitting shot there for the Motor City as we're set for action in the ninth inning of this one on MLB Network. Digging in the switch hitter. Jared Saltalamacchia. He'll try and lead things play. off here in inning number Pitching nine. Whit Merrifield will number try to 15. get his club a little ninth Whit. inning insurance. Is so great. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Foul back. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Hit on the ground toward the left. Scooped up on the backhand. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Well, when you lead off an inning, you become the leadoff guy. Get on any way you can. And right there, that little infield single, as innocent as it might look, might start a rally for them. Do anything you can to get on.
And that brings in the speedy Raul Mondesi Jr. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out. So he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll be back in standing up. A runner at second, nobody out. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. From the belt, the pitch. Two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate and will do it again. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. At the plate, Alcides Escobar. He was a ground out victim last time up. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. One out and a runner on second base. Runner goes for third. Bat explodes as this has popped up. A play at the plate. And he's out at the plate as they cut him down trying to score. And he's safe. Now batting. Obviously, they got a little over aggressive Billy. there. When you've got the lead like this, you can afford to do that a little more. We'll see if that lost run ends up being a factor at all. Standing in now, Billy Burns as he lifts it in the air to right field. Amarista moving forward in a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. And to score, the runner from second. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one oh, indeed. Wow, they're Second hitting on all much. cylinders as the lead Darwin increases Castro. to five now. Nice job there to drive the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. Alex Attention, Wilson please. takes over now with now two gone here in the Tigers. top of inning number nine. Number 37, Alex Wilson. Here's Starlin Castro as he'll take a look at ball one. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Here's the 1 0. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third. It's now seven to one. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right Eric. there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull a ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. So digging in now, Eric Cosmer trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Two out with the man at first. Seared down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two runs on four hits here, no errors, and a runner left on. Whit Merrifield will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the, the catching from here out. Now catching Sylvester Gooden takes the mound here. Not Merrifield. a save situation, of course, Kansas because City. of the big lead, but number he'll try 31. to finish it out nonetheless. Here's Justin Upton now. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Nick Hundley is into the ball game here as he Your takes over behind play. the plate. A defensive change for the Royals. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Cabrera's there. Nick 
Hunley. One out. The batter. Here's Can't Troy Tulowitzki now. He was Troy. retired via the ground Troy. ball last time up. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. That's your classic front door slider. It doesn't break like you expect it to, and all you can do is freeze as a hitter. And he got the call. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Lays off 2 and 2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can oh, run a good hard fastball in on a guy's Nick hands and Castellano. completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Nick Castellanos now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Well he came at him with the same pitch. Swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well this game had its moments but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can coast to a six run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Seven one the final score in tonight's the Kansas City Royals. Win for the 96th time, most in the division. Danny Duffy records the victory, his 13th of the year, as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals, seven runs on 14 hits, no errors, they left six men on base. For the Tigers, one run, five hits, no errors, they left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Danny Duffy, his record is now 13 and 13. The loss goes to Shane Green. He falls to one and one. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Comerica Park. A sellout of 40,000. The Tigers thank you for attending tonight's game and remind you to buckle up and drive home safely.